Okay, fans. Michael here. Gym leaders are a huge part of the Pokemon world, but you may have noticed that some of them have some pretty goofy sounding names. So today, I'm going to explain the origins of their names with some help from my friend TrueGreen7. Hey guys, TrueGreen7 here. And in this video, we'll be discussing the gym leader names from generations 4 to 6. And back on my channel, we talk about the gym leaders from generations 1 to 3. Yay for collaboration! But without further ado, let's start with Sinnoh. Rourke's name comes from the words rock and ore. Not that kind of ore. Man, you don't know, maybe he likes to canoe. Gardenia's name comes from the Gardenia genus of flowers. And garden, I guess. Maylene's name sounds like May! So does that mean we should start shipping Maylene and Brawly? Hashtag close combat shipping. Or Smash Bros shipping. Or maybe just punch shipping. How about let's move on with the video shipping? No, that's a terrible name. Crash or Wake is based on Lucha Libre names. And I got the squeeze! It sounds like Crashing Wave as well, but a wake is also the triangular wave left by something traveling through water, like a boat. Fantina sounds like Phantom. Byron sounds like Iron. Candace is the name Candace with the spelling change so that it has the word ice in it. Candida is also the Latin word for bright and pure, which ice is. Sunny Shore City's gym leader, Volkner, was probably named as such because it sounds like Volt. Now for Unova. Silen, Chili, and Cress come from Cilantro, Chili Powder, and Garden Cress, which are three spices, and these guys are obviously representative of the Spice Girls. And they're also chefs. Cherin is literally black in Bulgarian, which contrasts with Bianca's name since Bianco means white in Italian. Lenora sounds like normal, but it also contains an anagram for aloe, her Japanese name. Roxy is a combination of rock from rock music and toxic. Berg gets his name from bug. And again, it's a berg! Get it together, Michael. His name could have come from berg, another word for city, considering how he comes from the big city. Elisa appears to be a combination of electric and Tesla. Pokemon appears to support the electric car industry. Well, he was also a scientist dealing with electricity. Hatcha! Cars. Cars are pretty cool, and I'm sure Clay has lots of them. But his name comes from the word... Clay. Skyla is from Sky and possibly Skylark. Bryson comes from Ice, just like Price and Candice. And Wolfric? We'll see about him in a minute. Drain is a combination of the words Dragon and Den. So you're battling gym leader Dragon Den. Marlin's name is a homonym for Marlin, the type of fish. Iris' name comes from the flower Iris, more specifically the Dragon Drum, a variety of the tall bearded Iris. Also, Iris is the Greek goddess of rainbows, so the rainbow during the battle with Iris as the champion is a nice touch. And finally, Kalos. Viola is a kind of instrument, but her name comes from the genus of flowering plants and or the genus of butterflies known as skippers. Grant's name comes from granite. Corina, similar to her Japanese name, Corny, may have been chosen as a combination of K.O. and Arena. Ramos's name is actually the Latin word for branch. The most part also kind of sounds like moss. Clement has the word lemon right in the middle, which could allude to lemon batteries. His Japanese name is Citron, which is French for lemon. Every villain is lemon. Yes, according to Spongebob, Clement is evil. Valerie's name could be a combination of Varianella, a flowering plant, and Fairy. Olympia is actually a brand of rechargeable flashlights. But I'm guessing her name comes from the Olympians, the 12 gods that overthrew the Titans. And lastly, Wolfric's name is Old English for WOLF POWER! Oh! Actually, though, that's, that's what it means. Also, the Frick part could refer to Frigid or him stubbing his toe and trying not to cuss. Oh, frick! So there you have it. Name origins for all the Sinnoh, Unova, and Kalos gym leaders. But if you want to know about the Kanto, Jodo, and Hoenn leaders' names, head on over to my channel where Michael and I discuss them over there. I'm pretty sure you can't guess where Brock gets his name from. What did you think of this video? What's your favorite gym leader name? Which one surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below! And if you like this video, hit like and subscribe to both me and True Green 7 if you haven't. Alright, that's all I have for now. So until next time, okay fans.